Welcome back to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. Not too long ago, we had a chance to fly the Cyrus drone. Our friends at Teledyne FLIR were kind enough to let us borrow the drone again. Stick around to learn more about our latest test of this aircraft, including some software updates, and why you should consider this drone for your fleet, especially with the possible ban coming down the line. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. Before we jump into things, I just want to mention that this is not paid content. Our goal is to share our thoughts on the drone, but we are not getting paid by Teledyne Flare to do so. You have probably already heard about the passing of the Countering CCP Drones Act in the US House of Representatives on September 10th. If made into law, this could mean that flying DJI or other banned drones in the future will be difficult. Now is the time to consider alternatives. Cyrus is a professional, easy to fly drone designed for industrial inspections, firefighting, law enforcement, and search and rescue missions. It features an IP54 rating, front collision avoidance, hot swappable batteries, and a 31 minute flight time with no restrictive geofencing. Its interchangeable payload systems include the VIEW TV128, offering real time visible and thermal imagery. The 16 megapixel camera delivers sharp details with 120x zoom while the FLIR Boson provides high quality thermal images with 5x zoom and precision temperature readings. Cyrus ensures data security by storing images locally on the micro SD card with no cloud connection or online profiles needed. This keeps your data safe and makes operations simple. With best in class thermal imagery and flexibility, Cyrus is built to help professionals get the job done efficiently and securely. It's built for UAV pilots who need a reliable, secure, and easy to use drone for demanding missions, offering features we really like, such as thermal imaging, data security, and mission flexibility. This makes it ideal for experts who require real-time visual and thermal data, precision temperature readings, and the ability to operate in various challenging environments. Since we last had a chance to fly Cyrus, firmware version 1.3 was released with some great performance enhancements. Here are a few of them. Fully automatic radio. This improves signal quality in areas with potential radio interference, and it may extend radio ranges, allowing for multiple ground control radios to be co-located. Real-time MSX, this is one of my favorites. It's a really cool feature that improves thermal image quality by providing critical time-saving information. The feature really enhances the imagery, as you'll see from some of the footage that we have included at the end of this video. It overlaps thermal and RGB images to provide a clear and highly detailed view. Another software update is altitude accuracy and maximum. This update improves altitude accuracy and hold, plus enables flight up to 1,000 meters AGL. Next is user-readable logging. This simplifies flight log data access and includes Air Data UAV and Drone Logbook flight management software compatibility. We also see the RTH and obstacle avoidance update in the software. This adds the ability to turn off obstacle avoidance during return to home functions to increase the airframe speed. Let's look at some of the footage from our flights and some sent to us by Teledyne Flare. Having flown Cyrus before the firmware update and now after it, I really enjoyed the flying experience with the update. 
The handling was great and the user interface is solid. I also love that the drone comes with probably the best user manual I have ever seen from an OEM. Unlike most drones where you get a useless book of legal information, Cyrus has a full manual with graphics and tables walking you through everything you need to know to get the most out of the drone. Additionally, I love that the drone was built with cybersecurity in mind. It does not connect to the internet, so you're not going to run into geofencing or have any data sent anywhere you don't want it to go. With the US House of Representatives recently passing the ban on DJI drones, Cyrus is a great pick if you want to avoid running into having your fleet grounded. Cyrus is manufactured in the US and Taiwan, so you can rest assured this drone won't get added to the list of illegal UAVs. If you're looking for a high quality thermal drone that won't get banned, Teledyne FLIR Cyrus is a great option. The starting bundle is under $10,000, but they occasionally run promotions, such as the one I saw at the Commercial UAV Expo during the first week of September, where the bundle was just under $7,000 for the first drone. That's it for today's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.